Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Today I want to show you uh, Interactive Brokers Python, a package called IB Python for Python. enables you to uh, interact or connect into the Interactive Brokers Python, uh, API um, using Python. Now, I would not recommend this for a high-speed trading system, but when you compare Java or C++, the coding to get something done in those languages takes from what I'm seeing at least 10 times the amount of code versus uh, Python now I wouldn't recommend this for a live trading system using Python 3 execution in terms of speed um, for data uh, capturing I don't see a problem with that um, but if you are looking at very fast Python's not in the way uh, you could probably bridge it through, in my case, like a NoSQL database like Redis, and then have Redis feed off the data or interact with the data through Redis, and then the Java test client that I've shown, and then have that test client connect into uh, the Interactive Brokers TWS. So it's one option. I've also shown another option where you could use Python, but then uh, what I was also thinking of is using the Boost Python project or package. So having Python call that and then that will eventually call the C++ POSIX uh, API, which I've demonstrated as well. But that would work obviously for um, non-Windows, including Mac OS X or Linux. So that's another option as well. And that also enables you to go through the gateway without needing to worry about uh, disconnections at midnight while you're trading <clears throat> so that's a good advantage of that so um, here we are with our uh, TWS that we know about notice it's in demo mode I've shown that enough times uh, before you start anything in connecting through an API always make sure that you <laughs> you have your enable ActiveX socket clients connected you're planning to do any orders, make sure your read only API is unchecked. Okay, once you can do that, you can start running all the scripts. So, to install Interactive Brokers or IP Pi, uh, just come under the GitHub and um, just follow these instructions. It's pretty easy. You run the downloaded script of uh, Python setup install, and that's it simple as that it, it works okay so let me show you so when you download the um, the uh, I, IB Pi you will get a demo folder which contains these full uh, these Python scripts now uh, just so everybody knows there's this one so if you do want to use Jython to connect Python into Java uh, you could do that um, there's also this reference Python as well, and now we'll just do a sweet test of some API calls. Now, because I'm using uh, a demo account from IB, obviously some of the functionality won't work, specifically options. So uh, you, I will get some errors, but I will um, run some scripts for you. So if I do Python fancy market data, um, you can see here that uh, it is connecting, okay? Uh, it is connecting here as well, so it's getting access to the market farm. But uh, I think the um, calls are probably, th they're not, cannot be demonstrated through uh, the, cannot be demonstrated through uh, the demo mode of Interactive Brokers. That's what I'm assuming. So, uh, what you could do is run some other <coughs> examples, API coverage. <coughs> so you can see it's connecting there, no problem. Uh, beyond that, I'm not sure what's, what I'm expecting it to do. But uh, I haven't really gone through what the scripts mean. Um, let's see, fancy market data example options seems to run okay. So it's running some warrants, uh, 
options it looks like. So it's getting some data back. So it looks like it's okay. And uh, that's a good sign. And it, this does run. So there's no errors as you, as you can see. It's getting back a value. And uh, I think this is market data it's capturing. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of data it is, but uh, if I want, let me just take a look at it. Uh, so that was Python. There's my editor. Okay. So example of using optional IP option package. So that's what it's doing. It's capturing some option data. Okay, let's see what other kind of uh, uh, scripts we have. Um, not sure if we're going to run this Python filters. Some currency on uh, uh, FX cash balance. Let's see what that does. Filter an example using the IB message tool. I guess it's options again. You can see it, a good chunk of it's running, which is good. <laughs> Didn't take much to uh, set up. So let's do the Python log filters. No, I don't know. Uh, reference Python. The reference Python. So yeah, there it's running all kinds of errors, but it's connecting, so it's, uh, that's good. Okay, so um, the IB Python looks okay, and uh, as I said, for now I'll probably keep it with using the IB Pyth IB Py. But remember, we have numerous options uh, with interactive brokers, but for now, I guess from the start. I'll probably keep it all simple with the IB Pi, and then over time I'll uh, add in most likely the Java part <coughs> to communicate through Java, through the Java test client. And to get more info when I'm referring to all these videos, come under the Quant Labs channel on YouTube, you come under my playlist. In there you should be able to find um, Interactive Brokers and TWS, so you'll have a variety of <coughs> videos uh, that will introduce you to the TWS and how to set up the Interactive Brokers TWS as well as um, the different tools and programming language that will support. So just go through those and I'll give you an idea how to do it all, but now we can add Python to it as well. Hopefully I'll help you out. Talk to you later.